dialectic and how it relates to midwifery and Parmenides. So I had to apologize to, to both of them. Um, What? Would you like to answer? No, 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 no. I just thought I'd just bring up a, an apology for last night. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have to apologize again if you yeah, don't tell uh, us. Yeah. Well, there'll be another Friday. Oh. Okay. Brilliant question. All right, so, so tell me. I'm recording. We can, we can go ahead. Okay, yeah. yeah. Why don't you, uh, so you can be filmed okay. instead of the back of your head? Sure. Okay. Sounds good. You can yeah. change, change with the Jane or Julia. Or okay. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. And we can switch back if you like. Um, I've been having a lot of dreams lately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what do you make of it? Um, well, I have to stay sober, which is a bit. More? And um, can't drink coffee. I have to get my sleep. Um, that much of what's coming out of my dreams today I find very useful in just mm -hmm. simple, straightforward, practical sense. Mm -hmm. Like something came out of this dream that I use to help introduce philosophy and what's going on in philosophy to some kids I was talking to. Um, I had a horrible dream last night about a party, but yesterday I always had a horrible party. Mm -hmm. And and so um, it kind of gave a perspective to you know, how I regarded these people and there was another level going on that was like the appearance of the reality wasn't wasn't quite, didn't quite meet, if the dream was the reality didn't quite meet up with the appearance. Mm. It wasn't mm. quite up to the standards of the appearance, if you will, kind of ironically mm. so. Uh, and so after waking up in a panic, oh, yeah, that's a nice way of seeing. Mm. Um, yeah. What do you see between the two dreams? Between these two dreams? Um, or take one by the other, either one. I just want to say first, this dream happens a lot, and it, and it's in that state of clarity. Like, let's say I've been drinking for 30 years, and I take a night off. This dream will happen. Mm. Or I've been drugging for three weeks, mm. and I take a night off. Mm. This dream will happen. It always, this person, whoever she mm. is. So, um... Do you have a copy of the dream? Okay. Uh, yeah, I have two dreams. I have four dreams actually, but I'm going to give you two of them. Um, well, I first of all, it's really successful. It seems like she's an ally, an ally. Um, that. Uh, she comes at an interesting point in my reflections about life. Yeah, um, yeah. Because of who I am and how I interact with people. Yeah, uh, yeah And yeah. a certain goal I have, which is to meet somebody nice. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, yeah. That's not That's not primary, by the way. I'm doing a lot of window shopping. Uh, but there she is. She represents that nice person. Um, I just see a lot of unity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate it when he says that. <laughs> in that way, when he says it, yes, in that way, you know there's a problem. Well, what does it mean, the unity? Um, You're right, it has a great deal of unity. Um, it's kind of putting into perspective. Well, there's always a there's a relationship without tension. There's 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 a if you just look at the characters, they interact without tension, without um, expectations, without um, 
secrets. Mm. Without, it's like open dialogue. It's very. Uh, uh, if if you were in the dream, you say, "Oh, these people are yeah. that way." Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah well, uh, why do you think they're having the dream? Um, see, I, I'm not too sure. I, I think it's because I sobered up for a couple of days, and this is telling me, "Oh, it's okay to be sober." You know, basically, it's it's a it's a tool. It's over. It, I said it's okay to be so. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I, I'd like to think it was over, but... Uh, yeah, I, I better find out whether or not... Uh, say, are you good at knowing whether someone has answered a question or not? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Once in a while. But <laughs> how, how, how are you doing here? Uh, I don't think he's answered your question quite Yeah. Yet, uh, uh, what do you see in each of them, both of them? I don't know. What, what is your question? Yeah, there you go. What is your question? I couldn't remember the three words you said earlier. Before. Why are you having the dream? Why am I having the dream? Based upon that dream, why are you having that dream? Mm. What is it telling you? I feel like I, I'm moving into a new area. Go to the first one. Yes, uh, uh, what about that? Um, you go from no hassles to there's um, a sense of fulfillment without really knowing where I'm going, um, and it's re it's reconfirmed. It happens twice. Um, It, it just seems to to to, to have like cleared the path behind me. Yeah, yeah. It seems yeah. like stay in the first paragraph. What would you conclude? <sighs> um, I'm not that open to suggestion. I have my own way of dealing with things. Um, I have my own way of being that is pointing to what? Um, to home. Um, uh, I'm aware that it's a long way. That's interesting. Um, Say, what is it like I need to go home in the dream? In, in the dream, I just realize I'm not in a place that, that matters to me, that's important to me. Uh, that's right. Around, that's the a, a, philosophical I, home. Hmm. Meaning, Th this isn't philosophical. I need to go home. In the first paragraph. That is philosophical. I'm at a writing <laughs> stable. So I'm, uh, the whole thing is philosophical. You just told me that. Mm -hmm. What does home mean to you in the dream? Uh, I thought I said, if I'm thinking that there's a sense of unity, no tension. Um, oh, uh, oh! It, by the way, offhand, is that might be that might that be different from your old home, childhood home? Uh, from last week, um, yes. Oh, um, a little bit, a lot of bit, or half a bit? This is quite different. Oh, significantly. Yeah. Oh, so you're going home. Mm, I need to go. Uh, Odysseus like. Yeah. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. And what do you make of the facts that in that first paragraph? Come on. Uh, no horse hassles. Uh, um, especially the word hassles. Yeah. What does that mean? You're um, giving up what? Well, no need for the hassles about. Yeah, I seem to have overcome a great deal of OCD. I seem to have overcome a great deal of fastidious. Yeah. And, and busyness. Yeah. How? What's um, that like knowing that in the dream? No horse hassles. Oh yeah, because that goes way back. I forgot. We used to have horses. So that goes way back. Yeah. Um, mm. 
I mean, it's interesting horses. I, I knew this lady that had horses, and I just said, thanks a lot, so long. Yeah. Uh, the, last, uh, the last sentence. She had horses, I said. Okay. Last sentence. The uh, word aware. I am aware that it is What's it like, word. that awareness? I could kind of see the whole... The, the distance I needed to, I could see lights off in the distance, I could see the trees lining the trail, I could see that it would have been a nice riding trail, but that is not an issue, it's just me getting on that trail oh. and uh, oh. riding. Did you like that? Yeah, greetings. Um, That's a rather interesting state yeah, of mind, very, isn't very, it? Very independent. Oh, yeah, yeah, with a nice level of awareness or not? Yeah, lots yeah. Of, like I said, lots of color. I am aware, see, you're focusing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that uh, the Odyssey? Yeah, to be, to, to know the journey and have an eye on the goal, but be awake all around you. Good, now do the second paragraph with the same thought. I'm with a woman at home. Yeah, what's it like? Well, that's very comfortable. Uh, see, but very new. See, hey, the first paragraph, you're going there. In the second paragraph, that's funny. What? I, I, you're I, there. I home and, um, oh, how nice. Sounds very Oh, nice they, so you got the comp. Right? It's Ithaca. Now you're at Ithaca. Right. That's funny. Yeah. Hmm. And what's it like uh, with Helen? <laughs> it feels very good, quite comfortable, no tension. <laughs> Pardon me, Pen Pen Penelope. Oh, yeah. Um, a natural union. There's warmth coming towards me. Mm. Um, kiss again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um... The unknown thing isn't, that's what, what's funny about the unknown is that it's not a problem that it's unknown. Right. And I can settle on the unknown and not feel grasping, breathing, choking, you know, you know, trying to. Say, David, have you ever played with Zen? Yeah, a little. How does that relate to a Zen experience? Pretty zen. Mm. Pretty zen like it in, in the sense that oh. it fits a model <clears throat> and it also fits something that I have experienced uh -huh. in the past. Does it go beyond the Zen experience? Mm. <sighs> yeah. yeah, because it's taking it somehow into action. Yeah, that's the key word. Right. Oh there it is. There it is. Go Not ahead. Worry, or, or, urge to worry or take action. That's but right. But that is taking action in Zen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And would you do us a favor and talk about the last paragraph? Uh, 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 here? The last in the second oh, oh, the last paragraph here. Oh, that was wonderful. How wonderful? <laughs> um, pure, natural insight. Compare it with the Zen experience you had, and the state the of mind. The same kind of thing, but with mind. That's what you got. Mm. The same kind of thing. But yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dream Master. Um, rather interesting, isn't it? Now go to the content. Well, I cheated. You're seeing, yeah. I cheated because I had a job subbing, and the and the the, the teacher knew me. And she said, he said, talk about Plato, mm -hmm. and I said, I don't fucking know how to talk about Plato, you know, or philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I, yeah, I do, but you know, and and I am critical about people who do it poorly. So you know, I. Um, uh, I mean, like, 
people who write you know essays about yeah. it and stuff you know yeah. and so I all I really wanted to do was tell these kids uh, <laughs> what does it mean to do philosophy and I started with I had this funny dream I said there was this woman in there it doesn't matter <clears throat> but um, and I talked about I just said, you know, it's really hard to ask the right question. You guys get put on the spot because you're uncomfortable about having to give an answer. <clears throat> but what does it mean to ask the right question? I was like pointing at each one and trying yeah. to <clears throat> get yeah. it, you know. What is the question that's really your yeah. question? It's a nice state, isn't it? And it was fun. And it was it and was, fun. It, and it felt true, justified. Um, it's also comparative, isn't it? You're comparing yourself against other people. In the dream, aren't you? Yeah, it goes contrary to convention. Yeah, so therefore you are what? Mm -hmm. um. And in what way? In a profound way? I like it. Um. Uh, in a profound way? I don't usually say that word about myself. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Um, I thought it was a very profound dream. Uh, forget that at first. I thought shit. It was a very profound dream. Thank you. And these dreams come to me when I'm 15 years. Yeah. And I have been ignoring them. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. So, uh, uh, Odysseus, how are you? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Right. I have Good. a dream too. How many dreams you got going? I have a dream too. Good. I'm saying, how many dreams do we have? Oh, well, I don't care. I don't either. I don't know. I have one here. Hi. How you doing? Okay, how let's do it, Julie. Really. Just swap for shares. Yeah. No. Thank you, Pierre. That was really fun. Congrats. That's Thank really, you. really profound dream. It'd be good if you could paint it. Yeah. Or musicize it or to, to, to paint it. Yeah, these, this is the other one that I'm looking at. That's a disaster. Oh, jeez. You want it back? Yeah. Yeah, do you want it? I want to look at it. Is that okay? Thank you. How about the whole file? <laughs> This is more fun. Yeah, We're doing a trench thing. <laughs> it looks like Thanksgiving dinner to me. One more. Okay. I'll look over. Yeah. We're here. I got the glasses. <coughs> There's coffee over in the corner, people, if you're so inclined. <laughs> Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Been? What do you make of it? Hmm. Well, some issue about hmm. about me 
in my space or feeling like I can't just have the space I want or something. Yeah. Like when I was wanting to take the nap, I was just in this neighborhood and there were plenty of places I could have just pulled over under a shady tree and just snoozed. But I was so worried that somebody was going to come out and say, what are you doing in front of my house? So I found this church. Get Parked in, in the back where nobody would see me. Now get in the dream. Okay. And what do you make of it? What are we going to focus on in your dream? Oh. Could you read it straight? Okay. I was in this area with fancy old homes, like the area I was sleeping. And in the dream, I walked into this old home, like living room area, and it was pretty cramped. But it was supposed to be an area that we were going to rent, the Noetic Society or some group. And the man of the house was, had just gotten under his pickup truck, which he parked in the house, and he was going to drive out the front door of the house. And like, it was our time. It was like three o'clock, and it was our time to rent the place. And here he is, and it's like three o'clock and 15 seconds, and he's like taking his time going out the front door. And as he left, I remember there was some nice white linen lace covering this little table. And I remember the back of his truck kind of rubbed against it. And he moved it, which is why I had thought and said under my breath, get the fuck out of here. There's a sense of anger that like he's trespassing on an area which I should have. And that his attitude was that these should be there or that he didn't want us to use it happily. And there was so much tension in me and anger that came up in me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Everyone, okay, put your finger on the, what you would explore, that's all. Okay? If you need something, keep it in mind, okay? So and the same question goes mm. to you. Mm. What am I going to ask you about? Um, hmm. I. Hmm. Seems so weird. Bradley, I think you'll make it back. Yes, you know, you know, okay. I think he wants water. Which is out. What are you going to ask? Hmm. Hmm. 
don't know. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder why I'm even there in the first place. Robin. But that's... Say, so, uh, in the dream, uh, would you tell me what it's like, what you experience? And said under my breath, what was that like? In the dream. It was like a relief. A relief. And, and a moment of reality. And a moment of reality. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's that like? Well, I don't know what that word means. I good. feel really, huh? righteous. Hmm? I feel right, righteous, and good, and like justified. Yeah. yeah. And. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what do you make of the fact that you said it under your breath? He may not have even heard it. What? He might not have even heard it. Oh. <laughs> well, therefore, it. what was that aspect like in the dream, knowing that right. he might not even have heard it? This is like how I used to talk to my mother when I was angry. I would say uh, uh, do it again. This was like how I would talk to my mother when I was angry. Oh, so she wouldn't hear you. Well, she'd hear part of it. Yeah, so you. So, and it was yeah. not clear, and she'd yeah. say, "What did you say?" Yeah. And then I'd repeat it in a different way. Yeah. yeah. What do you make yeah. of that? That captures your whole life. Yeah. Hmm. And because, come on, and because you say it under your breath. Right. What follows in the dream? That, oh, that, well, that state of mind, that being f open and free. What? What? But it's under your breath, so. Right, but then there's a sense of anger. Then I'm aware of the feelings. I guess there's a sense of anger. What? That what? he's what? like trespassing on an area which I should have. Come on. I am tre come on. Well, saying that. See, he's trespassing on an area which I should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should have what? The, well, we had rented it at 3 o'clock. Yeah. 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 So you kept that under your breath. And uh, yeah. does the anger persist then? Yeah. 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 Why does the anger persist? Because you're treating him just like you treated, who was it again? My mother. Oh. And he's treating me like she did. But in terms of seeing, mm -hmm. in terms of seeing, you are, come on, you are, give a grade to it. Oh, I'm seeing very well. But what are you doing with your seeing? Um... Just like you did with dear old mother. Yeah. What is? What, hey, what do you think of that? You're having that as a major dream. Well, that's that's your whole life. One. Yeah. This is my life right now. That's your like, life. That's right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing with your seeing, Julie? You're keeping it under your breath. But as far as seeing goes, how's the seeing? Yeah, seeing good. Primo. Yeah. What are you doing with your seeing, Julie? Well, <laughs> this guy was weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so was your mother. I think he was hey, like in hey. his underwear. <laughs> hey, so was your mother. <laughs> she was too like, is driving a truck you know. through the... She's in, got a truck in the house. <laughs> yeah. 
but I don't know why I was so, I mean, apparently I couldn't talk to her about In the my feelings. She taught you not to talk to her. Right. You're following a model. So you think she didn't hear you. So what hey, I, yeah. hey, bullshit. Yeah. What if it turns out to be simply bullshit? That she heard you. Yeah. But you guys play a game that she really doesn't hear you, and then you change it. Right, right. Yeah. What does that What does that mean? If that's true, to your whole life, what does that mean? Well, this statement here. Yeah, go ahead. Is, read it. Um, I have to be in a certain state of mind to make this kind of a statement. And I have to get angry. So I can't just say what I see. I have to get angry first. And then I can have, then I'm allowed to speak and say what I see. But I can't, uh, ex I can't expect anything to get done about it. That's right. You can't say anything about the truck and what he's doing or how he's driving until you blow up. Or that it's cramped yeah. when we first walk in. Yeah, that's it's right. inappropriate when we first yeah. walk in, yeah. Yeah, so can't it's got two parts, doesn't it? Yeah. That you have to wait until you're angry before you do it, and when you do say the truth about things, you say it under your breath, and that does what? It, it makes it... Uh, impotent. It, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. See, That's at home, you said the truth, and in repeating it, yeah. you changed it. You modified it, and then right. that's what she wants to hear. Right. That you're giving up your vision. Right. Uh, what? Do you, why are you having the dream, Julie? Well, uh... It is telling you something rather important, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at the first sentence. I was in this area with the fancy old homes. And in the dream, I walked into this old home, like living room area, and it was pretty cramped. Were you angry? Hmm. Yeah, right away I was... In the first sentence? I mean, it's like... Um, well, I wasn't, I don't say I was angry, but no, no, I was... No. I just want to ask you. Astonished. Is what I, oh. When you pulled off the street to yeah. take a nap, were you angry? Yeah. 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 Right, it's the same, yeah. that's the yeah. same thing right. I was going through. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> why, yeah. do you, why do you think you're having the dream? It also, it's only... <laughs> It's only surfacing your whole life. That's I know. All. Well, I'm, I'm about to. I mean, <laughs> apart from that, it's, uh, it's not important. I'm about to exit this situation in the next month. I'm moving out. So it's all, everything I haven't dealt with is now. Uh, but if you do move out and say something under your breath, what will that do? I'm not going to say anything under my breath. Oh, well then what are you going to tell whoever it is that's involved? I'm not going to say anything. Why? Because Don't you want I'm to say something? You're yeah. angry. You've been treated. Yeah, huh. yeah, I do want to say something. I, I, yeah, I have a lot to say. Oh, what are you going to say? That um, I was... Well... I mean, from day one. What? From day one, the space I was supposed to occupy was filled with his stuff. He didn't empty the room that I was supposed to move into from day one. Yeah. It's been like this. Like this. Wow. Yeah. That's your whole life. So and what are you going to say when you leave? Nothing? But I told him from day one this but, was inappropriate. But wait a minute. How did you tell him? Did it make any difference that you told him? He said... You're just trying to bum me out. That's so, well, that's right. <laughs> so he blames it on you. He blames it on me. So why did you say?
I've told him a few times. Uh, this under is your how breath. he operates. No. And, but the same this thing. This is how he operates. It doesn't work, does it? No, not at all. So what do you have to do? Just leave. Oh. You're and gonna... he'll happily take the space back and be a happy camper. Yeah. It's a win-win. <laughs> uh, uh, unless you do whatever you're doing under your breath. No more. I'm not going to do under the breath anymore. Oh. I'm going to... What's your... Uh, good heavens, what's that going to be like? Oh, it gets really loud. <laughs> he yells really loud this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, you know, but that's the sign that I'm definitely leaving. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm really nice coffee. Yeah. Thank you. End call. Such a great dream. It is. It's only your life. It really, even this first line. Yeah, the, right, the first line, right? There it is. That is right? so funny. Amazing. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. Uh, thanks, Pierre. My pleasure. Mm. Barbara. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Ah. By the way, what was it like figuring out how to proceed? That was fun. That you did was it? Fun. And it? The synchronicity of emotions and things that are going so on right down. now. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes when people are full of shit, you just have to tell them they're full oh, of shit. Oh, there's another than here. I think I don't have quite enough. Okay, I'll just watch with the I'm getting it. Take a quick look. I'll get I'll get get one. Oh, I'm getting uh, better at hitting the mouse. I'm sorry, I'm a little short. Oh, okay. I screwed that up. Would I'll you have stayed if he had moved his stuff? Up. Okay. Oh. No, it's still too cramped in the dark. There's no light in the room. I told him I was only going to be there six to twelve months anyway. So he knew it's coming. So, for those of you who don't know, when there's a bracket, it means it isn't in the dream. But this is weird. Uh oh. Oh, good. Oh, thanks. Same thing. Pick out the part. Is this really from November sixth? Mm -hmm. No. No, I don't know why it did that. Oh, you. You but, know what? It's, but, but, but. it's actually Never mind. six oh, eleven. Never mind. It's European. Oh. Never mind. Everyone got a point of departure? No. You know, what I liked about the dream was that, well, was that really there were a lot of things I interpreted and I could see real clearly in um, transcribing it that I was interpreting that some things were definitely not in the dream, like the reason the kids mm -hmm. were leaving. Mm -hmm. But I, I could easily supply one. Yeah. And that's and that then I didn't know what to do with that. Do I yeah. take it out? Do I leave it in? Yeah. Yeah.
Uh, by the way, uh, what am I going to ask you about in the dream? Shoot, I don't know. I, 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 um, one thought would be the, I don't want to do this again sentence. Okay. So. I like the end state at the end. Yeah. But yeah. then I doesn't, don't understand what yeah, to do with the rest so of it. So do I. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, Julie has an idea. By the way, there's a statement you make in the dream. Mm. Eleven lines down. I don't want to. So I'm coming back to study. Yeah. What's that like in the dream? Uh, that's a tough one. Study. Especially the so is problematic. <laughs> um, well, it's interesting. It's a state that's very familiar to me. It's a state that's very familiar to me. It's like I'm doing something that's completely inconsequential to myself. It's like it's like running on a parallel track. You know, there's like What's, what? it, what's it like? It's like, um, acting a play, what acting in a play. Um, oh, it's like, well, the thing is, it's uh, like the word like, like, what's it like <clears throat> in the dream? Well, I'm clear. Clear. Okay. Right? I'm clear. clear, but uh, more? I'm trying to figure out what it's like. What? Uh, clear. I need the words. Hmm. Oh, so let me try to get back in here. Well, depending on how I emphasize it, um, Uh, uh, I don't want to do this again, meaning be a teacher, so I'm coming back to study. It's like I'm going to play one, I'm going to study because I don't want to teach. Hmm. Yeah, what's it like? And what's it like? I'm yeah, coming back one. to study, period. Oh, I'm coming back to study, period. Mm, it looks like fun. It fun. looks like fun. Fun? More, more. Clear, fun, more. Clear, fun. Um, yeah, a lot of joy. Joy. Kind of bounciness. Uh, more? Uh, like an energy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, openness. Openness. <clears throat> one more. You had a good one. Free. 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 Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was one that I didn't say anyway. Yeah. yeah. What do you make of that? Very strange. <laughs> mm. And I don't, I don't know what to make of the fact that it's bringing up a lot of feeling. Um. I think it's something I've always wanted to do. I think it's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. Don't stop to do Good. it. Good. Right. It's something I've always wanted to do. It's a life goal. Yeah. Right? It's my life goal. Yeah. And now you're in the dream. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm there to do it. Yeah. 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 There's a part in here that's extremely important. Uh, Second line, could you read it for me? And uh, second and third line. And I go to the classroom. Yeah. And I go to the classroom, which I think is the English classroom, or the writing classroom, or the communication classroom. Stop. Yeah, it's the. That's one. It's another one of those points I told you that 
in the dream, it's like I'm going, I think it's, I'm going to a classroom where I can communicate, learn to communicate. I don't know what that word means, well, it means communicate, it has too many letters. Yeah, well, um, uh. learn to speak, or it's like learn to get the, get the... By, mm. by following some kind of study? Yeah, maybe. No, uh, well, that's a very Are they related? Question. Are they related? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, yeah, I think they're related. Oh, then what does that mean? Well... Um, communication, and you're now going to study it. Well, communication, or speaking, or getting things... Speaking. It's not easy. What? It's not easy. Communication. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? Well, that I'm studying maybe the art of dialogue. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. As an art. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because, well, I was noticing in, I notice often in your dream work that you work on one element in, in order to, and then you go back to another element. And it is partially that juxtaposition mm -hmm. that lets the person see mm -hmm. what's there. And if you were to approach it, you, uh, you've even said this, that if you were, sometimes if you approach it directly, and sometimes you do, you approach it, and, the, and you can see from the answer that the person can't, um, can't answer that question mm -hmm. right then. Um, <clears throat> so it's just really nice to see, to, well, to see that. Yeah. that yeah. And... I was looking at it the other day. If you remember, I had that beautiful dream with the music in it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting that sense. It's uh, the art of dialogue. It's like that. It has a resonance, a beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. bringing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And talking. And yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Woo! That's, your chair. That's your chair. That's my chair for the moment. <laughs> Uh, more dreams? Oh, why don't we... S okay. Hmm. Get to be in the spotlight. When you're thinking of going to San Diego on a bike and you still don't have a dream? <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> oh. Interesting dreams this morning. Right? Dreams. Curious? You, he has a dream. I haven't... I had one that from June 6th that I didn't okay, even know want I to had do it? on here. No, I haven't transcribed it. Okay, well, let, let me write it out. How long is it? For one, one minute and 45 seconds. Okay, do it. Well, yeah. Thank you. Josh said he had a dream. He has a dream, too? Sorry. I'll go so good. Yeah, grab so the I think chair. whoever's going to do the dream is supposed to move to the place of honor. The cool seat. The cool seat. The, the hot seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is Julie in bed late at night. I'm <laughs> roll over and we find Julie in bed. <laughs> Sounds like a little bit. The surf reading. <laughs> Josh is in right here. Oh, really? the funnest thing ever. Okay, I'm in a room somewhere, and there's a couple of guys, and I think there are some guns. Is that a duty? Yeah. Going on. Wait a minute. So far, what I could get was that I'm in some room somewhere, and I think Evan is in there, and I, there's a couple of guys in there, and they have guns, and I'm averting my eyes. And I'm what was Averting it? my eyes from seeing what's actually going on. Oh. Oh, what's that like? What's that like? <laughs> what's that like? Uh, <laughs> Come on, what's it like? Come on. Um, fear, uh, knowing that if I look, uh, I won't be able to 
avoid saying something or doing something about it, uh, or or that I'll get killed. I think at one point in the dream, I realized that by averting my eyes and kind of staying away from it, that I was saving my life. That you know that if I had engaged these people at this time, that I would be dead. Yeah. There's more to the dream. I oh yeah, I there's a lot there. You guys don't need to yeah. hear it, but I. Yeah end up having sex with yeah, somebody in the, yeah. at the end. What, what am I going to ask you? Uh, why am I having that dream? I know why. Where does it go? Well, this dream happened on the day that we first tried to pick up Evan from being on the streets. Before and, or after? Uh, before. <laughs> Therefore? And it was a warning. And how? And I felt I took it as a warning, and I remember I woke up that morning and I told Russ right away. I said, "I just had this dream, and these people were had guns, and honest to God, I think some people got killed in this dream, and I ended up having to have sex with this guy that I don't even know with dark hair, to just to keep the situation ameliorated or you know whatever. Just and it, and I, the state of mind, it, that state of mind was really powerfully familiar from my childhood when I was raped. Did, then you acted on that dream the next day? I most certainly did. I most certainly did. I've uh, never been so vigilant. What part didn't you? What part didn't I? <sighs> the language you're using suggests you could I give yourself the police, a B but I didn't grade. I called the police early enough. I think there was a point at which I should have called the police early enough to keep to get him off the streets. Yeah, so that little bit you didn't say. Well, he had agreed to go for an assessment. We picked him up and I let him in the van, which was already a big danger. I knew it was gonna be a danger and the state of mind he was in was incredible. But I was like iron. I mean, I just let him rant and rant and just didn't, I did not respond you know, in any kind of a confrontational way. I just kept letting him talk, and I, I saw some humor in what he was saying, that he could have actually been writing a stand-up comedy. It was so amazing, the things that were coming out of his mouth, you know. And so I tried to emphasize, you know, wow, that's really creative thinking. You know, I'm telling him, you know, this is really creative thinking, and like that just made him angrier. So I stopped talking altogether and just let him go on and on and on. And he started shaking the seat, you know, that I was sitting in. And he was like not in his seatbelt and he was furious, just furious. We got him to the thing and he start, He broke down and he started crying, which was a new thing. And I, for the first time ever, I think, I mean, I went back to the back seat and gave him a hug and let him sob on my shoulder. And, you know, felt such compassion for him. And, I, and I'm telling them, you know, look, this is, I know this is scary. I know it's horrible, but please let us help you. Please let us help you. And I got him out of the van. I got him into the building where he was going to have the assessment. And at the very last second, he threw the clipboard at Russ and said, you need this more than I do. And he stormed out. And he, you know, disappeared. And we haven't been able to really get him back since. So you acted on that dream. In what way do you see that? I mean, I, Did you I act? felt that I, I felt that the dream prepared me for the seriousness yeah. of the situation. Yeah. It prepared me for, yeah, for the danger that I was in. Mm -hmm. And and then later in the day, when he wanted us to come and pick him up and a couple of his homies, he wanted us to come pick up two or three guys and take them out to dinner and do all this stuff. I I I, w I said no, you yeah, know that's not happening. He should have called me. <laughs> <laughs> So, I thought about you, Julie. <laughs> I thought about you, Julie. I uh, uh, thought about a lot of people that go through similar things. But um, how close? She in the dream. In the dream, uh, you experience what it's like covering up, and you decided not to do that but you're still in a dangerous situation in the dream. I am. Yeah, I'm still yeah. in a dangerous situation in my yeah. life, yeah. So even though you may 
take your hands away and see and say what you see. You're still in a dangerous situation. Very. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. Certainly, it's good that you're acting, isn't it? On the dream and. I believe so. I mean, I've gotten a lot of counseling. We've been to meetings. We've yeah. been to counseling. We've yeah. been to meetings. We've been yeah. talking to people, uh, nav what they call navigators, that are people mm -hmm. who are supposed to help you get through the system of mental health. And Gina gave us some information. A lot of people have given us the, the tools, you know. But uh, the system itself failed me. The one time I did call for help. And, and finally we had him in our grasp and I tried to call for the, the emergency team to come and get him. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Well, we have no counselors available right this minute. Uh, do you want us to call the police? Yeah. So I said, yes, I think you should. They never came. About 10 minutes later, I get a call from the police. Do you still want us to come? Do you think your son is missing? Do you want to report your son as a missing person? I'm like, well, he's not really my son by blood. I really don't have the right to do that, but... You know, he's missing to himself, that's for sure, I told him. So, um, you know, it's really sad how, that the system... Uh, but how far... He has to walk in on his own. Gee, um, that's what they keep telling me. that they, None of these places will, will take him unless they do a 5150 on him. And he stays just cool enough and calm enough to talk him into thinking that he's just, he's just okay. He'll, he's like stressed and... You know, maybe give me a little shot of Soquil or something like that. I'll calm right down, you know, be calm. And yeah. they, he's done that twice. <clears throat> what do you make of the fact that in the dream, the threat remains, whether or not you say or see, and, and say what you see, the threat remains? Yeah, the threat remains. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Deadly. I don't know, but I and saw deadly. how easy it was for me to go back into that same state of mind of submission when I was being, being sexually uh, mistreated. You know, it was very, very easy to go back to that, you know, play dead. That's the best, the best thing you can do, really. That's so uh, that, that the, was the point of my The point of my question is... In the terms of the dream, would it make any difference whether or not you said what it is you wanted to say? Would the threat still remain? Well, I, in the dream, I felt that if I said anything, I'd be shot. That's right. But, but it that's turned what out, kept me alive. But it, yeah, but it turned out that the next day you did act and you did say, but did the, did the threat diminish? No. Thank you. No. What does that mean? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. It's a good one. I'll get some more coffee. It may mean that it's not my deal. Yeah. 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 Someone else has got the problem. Yeah. That they have to solve. Yeah. Yeah, that's not my deal. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Can't change anything by saying something. And all the compassion and the expression, that's all good, but does the threat remain? Yes, it does. The threat yeah. is his, his himself. Yeah. I mean, he, he, yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah. he has got to see this for himself a little yeah. bit. Just yeah. I know it's scary, I mean, you know, I know it's scary for him to think of himself ending up like his mom, you know, and she was bipolar and she ended up institutionalized and she ended up dead, you know, I mean, so I, I, I don't know, you know, it, it's a scary thing to, to put, you know, anybody, but you got to start somewhere, you know. Yeah. So in terms of the dream. It looks like the struggle is over seeing whether or not you can express what you see, but you're holding on. But is the real problem that you're there in that situation? Right, in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've seen this before in my past history that 
Yeah. Almost every problem I ever got into in my dreams was always preceded by something that I thought to myself, how did I get there in the yeah. first place? Right, right. Really? That's good. That's yeah. the moral yeah. of the dream. Yeah. yeah. Good, 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 good. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> <laughs> and I did a study on bipolar, so I was very angry because of caffeine. Thank you. So yeah. you could get to that, but how? it's very difficult. But how? you didn't get that far, or how often have ah. you gotten to the far? Dream? To get to no that. more. Yes. Pass it around. I wrote it out. To walk in on his own well. So He's so playing the system. I he knows exactly how often he has he gotten that far. Don't Twice, but the thing is he... He deliberately goes for coffee. Oh, yeah. He of deliberately course. waits until yeah. after the cutoff yeah. time. So he'll be arrested. So he goes there at 1230 by, you know, 730 yeah. to 1230. We keep telling him, you know, go to this place, you know, walk in. He so waits until 1 o'clock to call us. So he'll get arrested. He'll get arrested. He'll get arrested. He'll get arrested. In my world. Put it in the hospital. You think got the tape it. God dang it. You got it, though, right? You got this on tape? Oh, yeah. This is going to be in the uh, World Wide Web? I don't think so. I don't think, so. I don't think dreams are. Oh, good. I want to be able to see it, though, but if it is possible. So, uh, let, let me raise a question for you guys. That's right. He'll be picked up. I was thinking you want to use it. Okay. I wasn't sure you used his name if you did not use it. In, in what kind of universe are we in which dreams are this significant? Could you repeat that, Pierre? A very profound, beautiful, in what, intelligible world. Universe. Right. In what kind of universe are Amazing. we that dreams are this significant? Where we get the opportunity every single night to reflect on ourselves and be able to... Yeah. See what is blocking us and what we can what do do to pursue. Oh, I was thinking it is like the first few lines of chapter two of your orange book kind of fit the answer for what you're asking. Right, you are it's part entirely of a, possible to verify for oneself that we are part of a caring and intelligible universe. That's right, something yes. like that. It's exactly like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the understanding is a kind of proof. What do you think? I think a magical universe. Um, one that's magic. Mm, what did he say? Magic. magic. It's a universe of, has magic. He meant mystical. No. That's good. That's good. good. What amazes me Barbara? is that, well, just that of all the lines in that dream, I wouldn't have picked the one that Pierre picked. Would not have. Yours? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Would not have picked that. And I think it's just family. Unbelievable! We have someone who has such good insight in this in the things that you can just go ping. You go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't even need to leave, listen to the whole dream of mine. I'll, he just grabbed that. He just grabbed that state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? What is the significance of that? Um, right. <clears throat> By that question, I am asking, what is the significance that that can you can approach a dream in that way? What does that say about the composition of the dream? Well, that the logos. Hmm, well, let me think. Well, I was thinking that the logos of a dream is there to be seen. Yeah. Right? It's right, and that. If you, I think if you're then free of your own, if your vision is clear, then it will, the dream will reveal that spot to someone who's looking at it. But what, what do you see? I mean, I, I don't think that quite got it. Uh, uh, yeah. It's it's so uh, like no, this one's for you. It's like perfectly oh, providential. Mm -hmm. Well, it speaks to the whole idea, of, doesn't it, of following the logos. Narnians? Is that Narnians? Like Narnia? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I've been reading. 
Okay, same question. As you look over the dream, what would you focus on? Hmm. <laughs> I'd focus on this, the word I'm deciding. I'd ask what that's like. I'd ask what it's like when he says, I'm deciding hmm. who to give it to. I might dis I might say the right quality. I'd say the problem. Who I'd to, like to say who to teach see. something to, or who to give midwifery to. Pardon me. The problem of the dream. Yes. Which is who to teach something to, or who to give midwifery to. <clears throat> I'd give the statement okay. of then I thought. Pardon me. He has a direction, and he's decided, and then he says then I thought. Therefore, what was the ch what was that state of mind like at that moment? Uh, when he's doing what in the dream? Saying no, they are not of the right quality. And what would you ask then? What's the state of mind at that point? Right, right, right. Primo, right? Okay, you want me to answer that? Uh, like, could you read it first? Yeah, yeah. I'm in a field and I'm deciding who to teach something to, or who to give midwifery to, or to like give midwifery to, or something similar, or to introduce midwifery to. I think, oh, I'll give it to them. It's, I look down at this, and there's all these people in this like field, and I'm like up on a mountain. And then I thought, and they're all like lined up in rows, like groups of, mm -hmm. looks like, I don't know, soldiers in one sense. And I thought, no, they are not of the right quality. Only give midwifery to the Narnians. Yeah. Shay, uh, uh, do me a favor. Would you tell me about the uh, effect it had on you in the dream when you heard these words, no, they are not of the right quality? What was the effect that had on you? In one way, it was just simple. Like, it was simple. They, they weren't of the right quality. Simple? Yeah. More? I don't know what that quality was in the dream, but it wasn't them. All those people that were lined up down in the valley of the, or the field. Uh, could you talk to me about the quality of the voice? Clear, direct, decisive. Hmm? Clear, direct, decisive. No, <laughs> they're not of the right quality. That was it. I need words to express that, see. Hmm. I just, I don't know what to say other than well, those words. I mean, like, like, it didn't have like a tone to it. Like, no tone, okay, clear. Yeah. Yeah. Clear? Like, Come on. More? Clear? Clear? clear. Direct. Direct. Um, that was it. They're not of the right quality. And I, I, I don't know. Uh, like I was it hesitating in any way or hesitant? No. 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 Rather? And I understood what it meant by the right quality in the dream. Like, <clears throat> yeah, I could see that. I, I agreed with what was said. Like, yeah, you agreed with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, what was it about that quality that brought you to agree to it? It looked like followers. What, what? The people, the quality of the voice or the quality yeah, yeah, of the people? Yeah, yeah, the quality of the voice. I seemed to match what I saw in the people. Like, they looked like followers. They were out there lined up like soldiers. Like, they were regular people but lined up in like formations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, does the voice contradict your own sin? I don't know. Uh, in terms of the dream, uh, could you just read it? Uh, does it look like... Uh, pick it up from there, I think. I think, oh, I will give it to them, all those people out there. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't agree with yeah. my first What's thought. that like? I think, therefore, come on. 
Well, I'm like wondering who to give it to, and I'm like looking out. I'm standing on this like plateau. You're on a there's plateau, some, there's right? Somebody next, there's somebody right. next to me. Like, yeah, you're oh, on a plateau. Yeah. Uh, there's somebody else next to me. I mean, uh, shave? Oh, yeah. Pla more, come on. I was, I'm on like a mountainside overlooking like uh, a field. Hesitating? Uh, no. It was, uh, it was beautiful. What? It was beautiful. And beautiful? Peaceful. Yeah. More, more beautiful, come on. And peaceful. And it was like somebody was coming to me and talking to me and like I had to make a decision about what to do about this midwifery. Well, would you, <laughs> <laughs> would you mind making a, a, a contrast between those two statements, one yours and one the voice? Uh, well, mine is open and wondering. And I the other? Decided, uh, it's not very, it's clear and decisive, and so therefore closed, in that sense, about, about those people down there. It doesn't really have an answer, that's for sure. But it looks like you've been persuaded by one of them. Which one? Well, the voice. The voice. Yeah. What do you make of that? I don't know, because if they don't have the quality that I think that they should have, then I agree with it. At the same time, I don't know if it stopped me from coming up with a better choice or not. Say, who's, there's no conclusion. Whose voice is that? I don't know. Yes, don't you do. I have one for that. Come on. So, no, I really don't. You like never that. heard a voice like that in your whole life? I've never come across a talk of which I've decided, described anybody's voice as clear, decisive, and uh, by the way, did you happen to have parents? I do have parents, yes. Oh, good, good. I wouldn't know. I mean, my uh, it wouldn't be my mother because she doesn't seem too clear and decisive to me growing up. So uh, if anything, it would have been my father. Like, well, did he ever talk that way? <laughs> um, I don't know. If I'm looking to or have that scenes. attitude and manner of the voice? apart from the content. Well, I think he acted like he knew all the time. Pardon me? I think he acted like he knew all the time. That's like him all the time. Mm -hmm. My good heavens, what are we going to conclude about this? That voice seems to be what? Um, well, you said persuading me, that's for sure. Mm. I would say stopping me from answering the question. Mm. So. And it overrode your own thinking in the dream. Yeah, it did. Had that power. Yeah. Has that history. Yeah, I never really pinpointed him in my scenes as having that kind of state. So that'll be curious to find. <laughs> what do you make of that? Uh, make of what? That I haven't heard the tone of voice before? Or? Well, no, the, the implication of it, that that voice has a commanding presence that does what to your own judgment? Well, it's tricky because it appears like knowing. Mm. It appears like it's clear. And it appears like uh, it even has good reason behind it. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, how it functions is fucking terrible. <laughs> It's what? Fucking terrible. <laughs> In terms of <laughs> letting me answer the question. Because somebody's coming to me to answer this question. Yeah. And so by giving up my answering of the question, yeah. I'm giving up with... Yeah. Would you agree in terms of the dream, it has a curious effect? Uh, 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 could you read the last line? Only. Only give midwifery to the Narnians. <clears throat> what was that like in the dream, see? That was like, of course. Of course. Uh, of of course, course, only give it to them. Like, they're the only ones that have the right quality. Right. It's only for what kinds of people then? The Narnians are virtuous. Hmm. Always virtuous. 
And if and they're always inviting you to be more virtuous. Mm. Like, that's, <laughs> like what my, is your my mind's being blown by reading yeah, this book, yeah, like these yeah, books. Yeah. By the way, what does your father think of Ed Wyfer? I think now, if anything, he's reluctantly at least tolerant of it. Pardon me? I think he's reluctantly tolerant of it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think he believes in it in one sense or understands it. It's something outside, like, it's just like, oh, that's what he does. But he has the capacity now, after 20 years, to see that it's changed me in a way that's better. Hmm. Well, why do you think you're having the dream? I don't know. I mean, if I think about it, in one sense, it could relate to my schooling, because I do introduce the midwifery ideas through my teaching of mathematics and I also run a philosophy group of which I have brought the kids to finally mm -hmm. reflect on themselves mm. like at the end and so and I've had students wanting to explore their states of mind with me so it's a question about what it's always a question in public school like how far can you go you know like where is this boundary or not? These kids are coming and they're seeking more understanding. They're, they have questions. And so that's part of it. I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where it goes in terms of stopping. If I would say in the beginning, it probably goes to my own writings mm. and my own expression. I think all of that's there, but it goes back to my own, putting the words, my own ideas, yeah. and writing down the things that I've been exploring. So. She because she. It's glorious. <laughs> but what do you mean? It's a very profound dream. Yeah, I felt the charge was quite like um, awesome. Felt right. The goal in it was amazing and something that I would want to live up to. It's, so. it's primary. Yeah. By the way, what is your opinion about it? About midwifery? Yeah. It's like without it, you can't understand anything. Uh, yeah, but yes. uh, do you think it's open for everybody? Mm. <laughs> David, there's a lady. To answer sister. your question, uh, sister, sister, sister. that's like a yes and no answer. No. Like, I. Uh, I would say no, because you have to have a certain... There's something different about somebody who's going to engage, engage in midwifery and really do it and practice it. Like, uh, you have to have an openness, and an openness to seeing. That's absolutely true. That doesn't answer the question. I don't think it's for everybody. I mean, I right. do. Uh, in what class of people would you expect to have that virtue? Hmm. What class of people? Uh, reflective ones? Non-believers? What, what? Non-believers. Like... Oh, where would they be? Where would the See, non believers be? in the dream, it's making a distinction between those who can and those who cannot. Those who should, those who should not. Hmm. Right? And it's hidden in the word quality, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Quality is like a state what of is mind. He, what does that speaker really mean by the word quality? What is he pointing to? Their state of mind. Like, uh, but who would they be? Like, don't talk to people from Brooklyn? In the dream. It looks like the followers. The people, like the many, like there, this is like many people out there who are, who he's pointing to are like the people that are waiting for orders from all of us up here. But you see, in the dream, that's true, uh -huh. and it's false, and you have to decide which one it is by focusing on the tone, right, the manner of speaking, the context. Mm -hmm. Like, that person is making a judgment and saying there's a whole class of people that are not going to be able to do it. Uh, okay, okay, uh, what kind of people? Uh, how can we identify them? Oh, they all come from Brooklyn. That's easy, see. 
You cannot identify somebody as a Narnian by the way they look. Hello. Actually, in the books you can. <laughs> the way they describe the people in the books you can. Uh, see, he either agrees with you or he doesn't, but he says no. You're making the point that it's open to how many? All the people. All. Mm -hmm. All the people. Even though it may be open to all, it may be not, it certainly may be true that not all people will be able to accept it. But it can right. be open to all. But now what is that voice saying? Be selective. Therefore, there are some innuendo. What kinds of people? Uh, well, if it's the Narnians, it's the virtuous hmm? ones. If it's the Narnians, it's the virtuous ones. See, it's in the dream. The person who makes that statement, it's clear to you in the dream what kinds of people you are being urged not to deal with. Hmm. Those are, that are not of the right quality. Who are they? Who are those that are not of the right quality? What? Who are those that are not of the right quality? In the dream. So you understood it earlier. When the thought comes, it makes me think like all the people that are down in the, the valley, on the field of, of the valley. And therefore, what is he, what, unpack that word then. Don't work with what? Well, you know this was my thought, right? I don't mind personifying it, but it says, then I thought, no, they are not of the right quality. So, who are those people? All those people out there. That's the way it goes. I mean. By the way, before I ask you this question, you know. Well, I'm asking, in the dream, you yeah. want me to understand. I took them to be followers. See, it's saying they are not of that quality. You're saying everyone. But they are not of that <coughs> right quality. What kinds of... Same question, see. How did you understand that in the dream? It's not a theoretical question, it's in the dream. I understood that, that they didn't have the right, like, substance, or essence, or state of being, like, that's what I took it as. But he's saying, it is not true that it's open to all people. All people, no. So, in the dream, then, does that suggest they have to be uh, <clears throat> uh, Japanese? No. Rich? No, uh, powerful? No. Irish? No. African American? They could, they Who the hell is he talking those. about? Who is he talking about? Yeah, it's your father. Who is he talking about? <laughs> I mean, I have no, what are you, <laughs> like, I don't even know where to answer from. I'm so confused, like, in terms of the question keeps pointing back to the people in the field, whoever they were. <laughs> like, okay, the people in the lines. You know? Those people that were lined up in the formations down there. So. They look like soldiers waiting to follow the orders of somebody here. Then he agrees with you. He agrees with me that they shouldn't be taught. Yeah, that it's open to everyone. It doesn't follow that everyone will be able to do it. But then he doesn't need that statement, does he? No, they're not of the right quality. Is that curious? So therefore, it just raises the question in terms of the dream, who might he be pointing to as people who are not, who have the right quality? <coughs> so it's not a theoretical question, it's in terms of the dream. In the dream, you'd say, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. I, I understood the difference between all those people and who are the so-called Narnians. I did understand that. Yeah. Uh, do you have the force of my question? I apparently not. <laughs> so, I don't understand 
uh, the, the question. The use of the word innuendo is good here. Is that voice indicating something about a certain class of people that, that are not open to this? Class of people. Yes. The hoi polloi? Yes. The average person? Well, yes. That's the and therefore, you should only work employee. with the elite, whoever they may be. That would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what he seems to be saying. So it is a kind of class of people that he would judge to be the elite. There is definitely a distinction yeah, between the yeah. two. In terms of your father, who, what kinds of people would they be? Who are the elites and my father? Hmm? Who are the elites and my father? Who did he look up to? Uh, he looks up to like war heroes. What, what? Like that. <laughs> he looks up to like war heroes. You know, he reads books on like politicians and stuff and like Republicans. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's what it is. <laughs> now you got it. Yeah, I mean, I, I see the Hey, only serious. work with a Republican. And I'm like, really? Thank you. Know, you. Like, that's all you're reading about? <laughs> Bernie, Bernie. <laughs> He did mention non-believers earlier. Pardon me? He mentioned non-believers had the right quality, which wouldn't fit midwifery in principle. So you'd have to push what class of people would be non-believers. Non-believers, not believers, but non-believers, which doesn't make uh, any and sense. And it looks like the believers would be people like Republicans. No, the non-believers oh. would be... According to what has been developed. It's oh, yeah, it's flipped. Yeah. I find it interesting mm -hmm. that Narnia has a whole range of problem people. So it's not That's the true. elite. Yeah. The white witch. So what do you make of the dream? Coming now to that conclusion. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it would challenge me to be more open with who I share with in terms of... Because I don't, I don't engage all the students equally. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of mathematics, is that true? I don't know. You mean? What do you mean? Only teach math to the people of the right quality? Oh no, that doesn't <laughs> teach anybody mathematics. Even though, even though there, it is, it is obviously true that people who have certain blocks are not going to be capable of doing mathematics. Oh, I, I work with them, too. Right. It doesn't yeah. follow that, therefore, there's a class of people that cannot do mathematics. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, I don't believe yeah. that at all. Like, Good. Yeah, I don't think that at all. In fact, most of the students I get, have, that's their, yeah. their problems aren't, aren't the yeah. mathematics. Yeah. The problems are something so else. The question in the dream, therefore, is beware of that voice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, because it, it could right. have been all those people. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Pleasure. Here, I have a question about his dream. Please. Um, so you say, I'm in a field, but yet you draw the picture of being on a mountain. I'm not in a field. Like, I'm on, I'm overlooking the field. Oh. Like, I know I said that, but I'm on, like, a plateau, and we're, like, overlooking all these. In a valley people down below, like, they're waiting for us to, like, tell them something. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's what I find Like, I'm, I'm approached, I'm approached by somebody and they're like, what are you going to do what about this? What do you mean this? they climbed like, up the mountain and approached you? No, we were just there. You were no. down there in the field with them? No. no. Oh. The you dream starts and I'm, like, <laughs> standing on this plateau or something and there's, like, amazing mountains, like, <laughs> and described, like, these tall mountains and... Majestic things, and we're on like a plateau of one of them. Oh. Weird. 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 There's a group up there. Uh, yeah, what? Well, don't I finish it? Yeah, who's the, who's the group? Who are you? Oh, like like no, like other counselors or other oh. people who are like part of this council, council of people, whatever the whatever the inner circle is, who are like the leaders, you know, like... Oh, this is getting interesting, an inner circle, okay. 
I mean, I missed this. I have been reading all of the Chronicles of Narnia. And so, so there's the other circle these, like, and you're characters. opposed to the people who go into the lines. Yeah, okay. It sounds like you... <laughs> no, I just was noticing in Josh's language that he was referring to a multitude that's raised above the people in the field. Mm -hmm. And it's like they're consulting, right? He's, he used the pronoun we, right? Um, which is also in contradiction with the picture, because there's only one person raised just, above the picture. I'm, I didn't make it up, so I mean, like, <laughs> but but still, shit. I also didn't draw them in like lines and order. No, it's so okay. Can, uh, but it's still interesting the language that that Julie referred to. I'm in a field, right? Like, I mean, are you raised above or are you in the field? Because if you're in the field, then you're one of the people you're judging as to whether or not you sh should give midwifery to yourself. Um, I don't know. Mm. Why it came out that way, but okay. I, it might be. But I, I mean, I remember clearly looking and seeing the people below. Like right there. Josh, you also used the two, picture. one yeah. word. I saw the picture about those people several times, which was followers. And the other thing, followers, right? And the other thing you said about them is that they were waiting for orders, mm -hmm. and you called them soldiers, right? So they look like it. Yeah, they're in those, formations like that. Yeah, ranks. See, the, the issue, see, look at the alternatives in the first part of the dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? I'm deciding, number one, yeah. to teach. Who? Who? Right? Uh -huh. Or to do it, give midwifery to. Uh-huh. Or uh, to introduce it. Yeah, is that another alternative, John? Right. Teach. I don't you know what that. You have give midwifery to or give midwife. Three. Three. No, it okay. was give midwifery to or who to midwife. Yeah. Or who to midwife. Okay. See. Or who to introduce. Yeah, just to keep it going. Okay. This person objects you to even introducing the idea wow. to this, to other than that special group of people. Mm-hmm. Mm. What a I dastardly mean, person. Right. What a dastardly person. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from doing it yeah. or being the midwife, yeah. he doesn't even want you to introduce it to the hoi polloi. So are they giving you any, any the static at school right now? Are they giving you any, any complaints? I was or? fucking celebrated this year. Oh! And I had a dream before the beginning of the year that I was going to be sabotaged. Uh -huh. And the person who in the dream was the saboteur was like one of my main, like, like singers of my praise. Did you get an award? No. <laughs> why, why were you? I was approached by the principal and the assistant principal each separately, and they told me how great they heard I was doing. Wow. And then I gave a talk to the every department meeting somebody gives their best practice, mm. and I gave a talk about how mathematics is learning and how that means pushing kids to put words on the unknown for them and how that provides like a way that once the kids put words on what they don't know that provides a lesson for us to go into and the <laughs> assistant principal came up to me later and was like that was a great talk all everybody was paying attention mm. and mm. so is that the same guy you had problems with before yeah in awesome. the dream the day before school started was going to sabotage me what's his name again ted reed ted reed, ted reed. <laughs> So no, in fact, they, they had taken a calculus class from me that I started, and they gave it back to me this year, so. Mm. Woohoo! So then this dream comes after all that. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what a counterattack is? Uh, oh, yeah, I've heard of that, yeah. Yeah? Mm. Once or twice around here. So if somebody's in the dream telling you not to do something that you've been doing successfully for the whole year, what would you make of that? I mean... Yeah, I, I would guess I would predict that, but it's not going to stop me. That would like, follow. Go ahead, Mark. Right, right, keep I mean, it wouldn't stop me, so. So, what would you like to say to this dude in the field that says these things to you? Uh, would, thanks for your opinion. But I have experience. <laughs> I have experience that counters your opinion. I appreciate your opinion, <laughs> and I, I will uh, consider what Maybe I want to consider. Maybe he's the so. person to do midwifery with. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it just sounds like maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you have experience that counters what that guy's saying. Oh yeah. That's okay. true.
Yeah. Brad's been able to watch me teach mathematics in my, in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you make of your dream? Yeah. Uh, I love it. It's still a puzzle. It's still a puzzle to me. What's your puzzle about you have now? Um, well, is to, to actually see the moments when that voice comes up as an answer that would limit me from sharing something like mm -hmm. midwifery. And then number two, I really hadn't thought about sharing midwifery. <laughs> That's not on my mind right now in terms of like uh, the thing I want to write about. Like, but the thing I have been writing. So it's kind of another idea. Yeah. Would you agree that voice it looks like it's objecting to even introducing these ideas to a group? That's one of the possibilities, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I have a question? Would you see that as the, the main issue? Like, for a while I was on the side of the voice saying, what's the point of dealing with these morons? <laughs> but, uh, when uh, not even giving them the option, though, that's kind of harsh there, saying you're, you're so, mm -hmm. you guys are such believers and stupid that I'm not even going to introduce you to it. Right, right. So, like, that there is a little extreme. Like, you, they... You might, the voice might even be right about them, but giving them the choice, like, hey, here it is, what do you want to do with it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good, good. What do you think? What, 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 what are you thinking? I'm thinking that it's, it's unjust to not introduce it to them. And so, but it, I, I trust me, I was on your side too. <laughs> I was on the same side as the voice too before I read the dream. And so it, it seemed... Yeah. It, it, it took me a while to, to see that, that it's saying, don't even introduce it to him. Like, mm -hmm. okay. Brett? Well, I was just curious, if, if the group you're labeling is the Republicans, right? Are they the type of people that, are, that do midwifery? No. No. <laughs> Therefore, what's it mean? Like, how's that voice functioning? <laughs> Uh, right. Well, now I'm if, back to Jeff. It's saving me time from the idiots, you know. Like, <laughs> no, but if the, but if the group, the group, right? Uh, oh, I might have lost it. It just uh, <clears throat> if they don't even if that's the group, uh, I lost it. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on, you got a very good point. You lost it. Come on. Anymore. If they are all Republicans, if the whole group like, is Republicans. Like it seems self-defeating. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. um, I'm having a hey, hard time bringing hey. it all together. If it, if it were true, that statement, and we understand it the way we are understanding it, does it turn out that that group would be most favorable right. or would more likely reject? Reject. And what are the implications right. of that? And What's therefore, that to give that kind of advice is a, a, advice for? It's a dead egg. Like De a dead end means? It's, it's self-defeating. Like yeah, it's it, self-defeating. Like, well, what's it's it leave it open for you to do then? Or, right, I don't know if that's the... No, no, yeah, push it to just, just. I don't, see, I, it's hard because in the dream, like, I don't use the word Republicans and even to call them, like, they seem like they were waiting for guidance from the people that were up on the hill. Well, like, that's... Like, like, there was, like, in the scene, like people. there's peoples and, like, like, we're, like, the coordinating Circle. group of... The community and like all the people like so wouldn't that i mean so I, but you I mean, said republicans like whoever they are right like, i was asked who my dad's heroes that's are right. like i don't know or who would his dad consider the right quality people was which the question. would would, right. would then make them the people who i should want to teach it just uh, uh, it's saying a, so fun thank, thank you, you. Yeah, yeah thank you good Good, I, good, good. You know, just that last phrase. What are they, those people are there for guidance. Mm -hmm. right. And doesn't that make a difference? Yeah. It's yeah. not like a mass, rally, a mass rally of Trump supporters, right? <laughs> it's people who are there in ordered ranks, like you might have a class even, 
yeah. in the old days. But in, is that correct? Yeah. Or orderly ranks of soldiers? Well, the but they're thing, there for gold, guard, guidance, yeah. right? So and then if they're there for guidance, what does that mean about their state of mind? This they're is the, aware they need help. Yeah, some, or and therefore for you're making... Wisdom. Right. And so then what does your decision look like? It makes it look even worse to follow the voice. Mm. Right. Yeah. yeah. It makes it even worse to follow the voice. Yeah, it's kind of those backwards. I'm sure it's that you're Thank you. Nothing much on Saturday. Thank you. Dreams are rather curious, are they not? Yes. Uh, are they're, they're, they're such a <laughs> are we dreams or? profound well of, Aren't they? of information about yourself. Um. Right? They're like a challenge. They're a challenge. Cause they Aren't still they? Go, they still go directly right to the point of your life and like, what are you going to do now? Here, here's, here's exactly where you're at. And here's the consequences of going one way, and here's the consequences of going another way. What are you going to do with what's in front of you? Where do they come from? <laughs> uh, God, Providence. What kind of mind? Self. What kind of a mind would you say must be capable of doing this kind of game with such precision, skill, profundity? Divine, knowing. Caring. Uh, yeah, caring. Right. And must know you, each person with such particularity. And does it indicate whatever it is it must, in principle, no midwifery? That too. Everything. Ooh, so we're learning to understand the language of the dream master. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are we done with dreams? <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. Only five. <laughs> Only five. Well, thank you guys. Thank oh, you. Here. I had a dream, that's why I asked here. Oh, she only wanted to know because everybody else has done their dream and she might have one now. She does have one. She has one now. But no, I remember. Only wanting to I don't know. have it. I oh. just remembered it while people were doing their dream. Oh. It was just very short. Oh. Oh. We can disregard short, it, though, because we're done with dreams. I have but a very short dream I remembered while we were You sitting. have one? Yes. A very short one. That we, that we are not in, we're not <laughs> paying attention to the length. Please sit down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm puzzled about that. Don't hand it at um, I was uh, I was here walking out, and I asked... Yeah, you were standing over by Rhonda and Bill's Pop, house. Do it again, please. There you're walking out. We were walking out. Uh, you were standing over by Rhonda and Bill's house. And I don't remember all the people that were there, but I asked, I said, uh, Pierre, uh, do you have a ride? Do it. Do you have a ride? And your statement was, uh, Hold yes. Hold it. And, and so, yes, somebody's giving me a ride, yes. and I said to myself, "Oh darn, I'm too late." And that was it. <laughs> That's the end of the dream. That's it. Um, what do you make of the dream? Uh, well, that I'm angry about myself. And uh, there's anger there too. Yeah, that angry about. Yeah. yeah, for being yeah. late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing something that. Yeah. 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 What do you make of that? Or I'm not fast enough. I should say late, fast enough. Either way. What do I think? About? I'm always late. Um, no, I'm not always late, but. What do I think about that? That I'm late? I'm late for important things. You find that an interesting theme and the way in which you just expressed it? That I'm late for important things? Uh, no. That, oh, okay. I don't know. 
what, what, oh, you mean the dream? And what you just said. Yeah. Okay, now, um, somebody said, uh, I asked, do you have a ride? And he said, uh, no, somebody's going to give me a ride. And I said, um, By the way, in terms of the I'm dream and what you've said, would you agree you understand yourself? That I'm too late? That I was too late? Yes, in terms of the dream. Okay. Let me ask it again. In terms of what you said, do you also give an explanation of why you are late? Mm. Mm. Mm, that I'm that I was too late. I don't remember that part. Mm. I did. I'm sorry. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh. What do you make of the fact that you don't remember it? That's not unusual. Oh. Would you say you would... In fact, I'm puzzled what, what sometimes. Would you say you characterized yourself in that dream? Yes, as being too late. That you're what kind of a person? Uh, not fast enough. Not... Thank you. Clear. What does that mean? What does that mean? Not fast enough. Take the contraction out of that and make the statement. Not fast enough. Thank you. Uh, now say it slowly and listen. I'm not I am not fast enough. What kind of a person are you therefore? Slow. Therefore, you can't be expected to any to do better because you're not that kind of person. Mm. Oh. Mm. I'm an, it's not enough. I'm not that kind of person to do. I'm not that kind of person to do that. To do enough. Yeah, yeah. You have enough. a view of yourself, don't you? Yes. What do you think of that view you have of yourself? <laughs> and what is it costing you? Um, misery. Misery. Yes. And would you agree in terms of the dream? You can't do anything about it because that's the way you, that's, that's who I am. That's the kind of person you are. That's right. That's true. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Psychotherapist. Yeah. I can't do it because I'm finished it. Fast enough. Yeah, not fast enough. Not good like enough. other people. Not fast enough, not yeah. good enough. Yeah. Yeah, like other people. Yeah. 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 Would you agree? You have an inadequate self. Yeah. That's what it says. What? That's what it says. Yes, that's what it says. So why would I have a dream telling me something I already know? What? what? I said, why would I have a dream telling me something I already know? Because you, because you think you know it. Yeah. Because I think I know yeah. it. Interesting. And what you think you know is right. bullshit. Interesting. <coughs> that doesn't make any sense. What? what? So it's waking me up to say, hey, this is my normal way of thinking. Wake up. <laughs> Since you're that kind of a person, you can't expect too much from yourself, can you? No. No. Therefore, you don't have to what? Too much. That's right. What do you make of your dream? Miserable. Huh? Uh, it's a good diagnosis. Yeah, right. <laughs> Interesting diagnosis. No, I don't like it, but it is a good diagnosis. But it's true. Right, it's true. It's a true diagnosis. Yeah, we all agree you're inadequate. No, it's a true diagnosis. Right, we all agree you're inadequate. That you're one of the few people in the world that has a, you know, a poor self. Inadequate. <laughs> no, I don't think so. What? What? No. What do you mean, no? 
I'm no, agreeing with you. No one has a poor self. Well, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, what are you just agreeing with me for? <laughs> uh, I guess because uh, that was my dream. I wonder what the heck was I thinking about before that, um, before that dream. Mm -hmm. I had it last night, so I remember. Hmm. By the way, who is it that has a great deal at stake in convincing you that you are inadequate? Mm. <laughs> Let's see, mother, dad. Only and mother and dad. Apart from that, no one. What do you make of that? That's your dream, come on. It's bringing this up, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, let's see. Um, well, that's interesting. I went to a, 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 a funeral memorial or whatever. What do they call them? Do, do it again? I went to a funeral, what do they call them? Memorial service? Memorial service yesterday of a psychologist who died and I was sitting in this Catholic church listening to the rosary and I wanted to get up and just leave. But I didn't because the other two psychologists that were there. Oh, that's a good reason why, yeah. by, because the other two psychologists. I, I agree with that kind of principle. And she yeah, had right. What? And so finally I did get up and I walked out and I remember looking at around and I said to myself, why didn't I get out earlier? What? I said, why didn't I leave earlier? There wasn't any big deal for me to leave earlier. I could have walked out when what I What would like it have meant for you to have mm -hmm. left earlier? I would have been upsetting the two psychologists. I would have looked bad. I guess, but I, yeah, I wouldn't have. Oh, well, that's but a that's good... That's what I thought. Well, I think you're right. Well, in my family... I, I think you're right. You shouldn't do things so like that. I mean, what kinds of people do things like that? <laughs> my family, bad ones. Yeah. 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 Whole thing there, don't you? Well, I had it yesterday, yeah, and I didn't do it. I was too late in thinking it was. It's all that language. And I kept complaining to myself that you really haven't left the Christian religion to just sit here and take this. That's interesting, too. I went to bed looking up that quote you mentioned in the Bible. And I remember saying, oh, yeah, that was the other part. Um, I looked it up at the end. Adam left, was sent out of the Garden of Eden by God and he was to till the soil go back and till the mm -hmm. soil and you said that I was following tradition and I remember later that actually I didn't the tradition I came from never talked about Adam and Eve they talked about the mark in the gospels but and then I remembered but wait a minute Pierre I wanted to say but wait a minute Pierre <laughs> I, I heard that in the I I didn't hear I didn't I heard it that he was kicked out of at Eve out of the garden from your class. That's the only time I've ever heard that he was kicked out. So I thought God had abandoned abandoned him. I wasn't fast enough to remember that. When I he wasn't to you. fast enough to remember that. To tell Pardon you. Pardon me. There it is. Wait a minute. There it is. Yeah. To let you know where no, I heard it. No, no, no. What does that mean? I wasn't fast enough. That See, comes you're up giving. All the time. Pardon me. You're giving an explanation of why you weren't able to do something. Yes. That you're the kind well, of person true. who isn't fast enough. Isn't there? It is. It's too late. Not enough yeah. time. Not fast enough. Yeah. See. God, I See, do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. By the way, what's the only way out? 
be fast enough? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. What's no, no, no. Just stay with wrong. what you're saying. Hmm. Your thinking hmm. is... That I'm not fast enough. Thank you. Suppose the reality is, is that you never really dealt with that question in the text. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, oh, yeah? What does that mean? Well, I never... That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I never dealt with that question in the text. I don't know what you mean. Uh, well, I assumed that it he was abandoned because of what I had remembered in a class long time ago. So, so long as that, uh, see, Adam is inadequate according it? to the tradition. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. And you believe that. In your retelling of the story, hmm. how will you be able to challenge that fact, presumed fact? Was he inadequate? Well, not with, based on what you said last night. For the, the hell with what I said. Well, okay. well I reread that section and I had some questions. What? I reread it and it when? said last night. And what did you see? Oh, I don't know exactly the quote. It said that he was sent back to till his till the soil that he, from which he came from. I think. Where's the issue? Where's your question? Where's my question? What? Where's my question? Um, you say you have questions no. about it. What? What are, what are the questions? I don't have it in front of me. What? I don't know. I, ju I was just remembering. I don't remember the question. Well, what makes you think you have questions I, about it? I, Do you have any questions about it? No, not right now, no. Why not? Oh, no, not right now. No, I don't. Well, you're inadequate because you may remember them later. Yeah, I may. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I don't. That's true. Let me do it again. Mm -hmm. What was it like at that moment, reading the story and coming to the conclusion that you just recalled? Oh, I was, I felt bad because I said to myself that I didn't really read the text as well as I should have. When you are reading it well, you're complaining to yourself yeah. that you should have done it earlier. Yeah. Is that part of the theme? That's what's wrong with you? There's a lot wrong, yes. I think you can add that to the list. In other words, you can't accept your seeing when you're seeing it because you have a criticism that you never saw it earlier enough. Or I wasn't paying attention. Or you weren't paying attention at the time. Right. So you're using it to beat yourself up when you do see and when you do show yourself that you can see and that you are adequate, that's evidence that since you didn't see it earlier, you're no good. Yeah, that seems to be the general rule. Is that right? Yeah, that's the general rule. Right. So you'll never get out of it, will you? Doesn't look like it. Because you, if you do get out of it, you're in I principle inadequate because you should have gotten out of it earlier. That's right. Right? I'm shit out of luck. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, what do you make of that? You're out, you're in a situation you can never get out of. Because you believe you should have gotten it earlier, and it doesn't count if you get it later. Yeah, well, this is... Hey, it doesn't matter if the day before, if the hour before, if the minute before, you get an enlightenment experience before you drop dead... It won't count because you didn't get it when you were born. Right? right. Who's teaching us that? Jesus. Well, let's see. Um, try dads. <laughs> try moms. Try the Catholic Church. That's right. Jesus. It's all, all Jesus in the dream. Christ. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. I've never heard the Catholic Church. So let me ask you again. What was it like last night when you read that yourself and you saw what it said? Well, actually, I was happy that I could go to the Bible what, what? because I was going to go to sleep. I was happy that I went to the Bible and then, oh, by the way, I complained about the type of Bible I picked. 
because I'm going, okay, well, you should have picked a different one. Maybe it would be different, but I didn't want to go look. So, but I did pick it off the shelf, and I said, okay, I'm going to go look at it. And I felt good that I even did that, because 99 I'm asking not whether you felt good when you picked up the book. No, I felt good. I was good. asking you what Same it was thing. like when you read the damn statement. <laughs> <laughs> Without the judgment yeah, but, after. Uh, I thought it was cool. What? I thought it was good that it was there in the text and that you had said that. And I said, okay, well then what's it mean that he went back to the origin? How would that fit then to the uh, fact that he was asked to go back to the origin? And then I thought, well, w the woman wasn't sent back then. So what does it mean that he was asked, he was sent back by God Yahoo? So would you call that a counter attack? Um to do what owed. Oh, is it a persistent uh, yes, yes, counterattack? It doesn't make any difference since you never saw it earlier? Uh, yes, it's persistent. So it's you right. must have believed that in order for that statement to come out the way it did. Yeah. Right? You have to believe oh, that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. What do you make of that? <laughs> come on, what do you make of that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of what I heard last night when Nancy was talking about his her position, no. and that people never change, and they're in con even when they do see, they go back to the where they were doing. And I just saw myself like that. Yeah, they are. That's right. <laughs> you know, isn't he? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? I mean, he's right of all people you've ever heard of. <laughs> I mean, if you don't get it before you were born, oh, I mean after you were born, or before <laughs> no. you were born, it doesn't count. Before I die. No, before right? Um, yeah. That explains everything in the house, doesn't it? Does it explain everything? Well, I'm not fast enough to see it, or to be on top of it, or to be there. Yeah, all that is. All it fits, doesn't yeah. it? Therefore, they don't have to do anything for you. Mm. Uh, yeah. Because you're not worth it. it. <laughs> um, Since you're the kind of person who, you're the kind of person who, <laughs> right, if is they inadequate. If to that level, then it works, yeah. Right, they don't have to do anything for you. They generally didn't. Right, because you're inadequate. Yeah, right, you're well, just... Well, I just have to be... Yeah, happy. you just big shit the local stink. <laughs> that right? means that they would do something Right, for me. yeah. Yeah. He's right. Is he right? Yeah, he must be right when he says it. He says it all the time, doesn't he? Um, yeah. He, he one way or the other? One way or the other, yeah. See, that's he a pervasive... It right, that's a pervasive counterattack against you, isn't it? Yeah, and he's also saying it about himself all the time. And he says it about himself, which must be true. Mm. Well, if he says, yeah, that's actually the key, because, like, I mean, you know, you want to end your Yeah, life. he's a good Catholic. <laughs> yeah, they all are. Right? Yeah. He's carrying the burden of original sin. You got that one right. Basically, he's inadequate. Mm, so <clears> their, their greatest emulation is that they yeah, are yeah, good yeah, Catholics, yeah. yes. Isn't it good to know that? It's, yes, actually it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. good to accept it, too, because then you're a member of the family. Uh, yeah, it looked like I was yesterday in that church. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. For that one sec, I could have Yeah, left. like why did you go to the memorial if you didn't want to go to church? Uh, I didn't know that there was going to be a, a memorial. I just Pardon thought me. it was You a went viewing. to the Catholic church. Yes, but... What for? I thought you had the viewing and then you had the memorial. Pardon me. You, you went to yeah, church. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I went to church. Yeah. 
Are you into the church? It looks like it. Huh? It looks like I'm into it. I haven't left it yet. It looks like you're into it. But am, well, I don't think I'm completely into it, but what, it what? looks like I'm... Well, to any degree, if I if I went, then I, yeah, I'm into the church. I have to say, yeah, that's I'm, I'm why. A, I'm asking why you went in the first place. Because I uh, wanted to, you know, uh, because this other psychologist asked me. And oh, that's okay. That's a good reason. Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, any time two psychologists urge you to go to church, it's important to go. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm for that. I like that reasoning. I do go to... No, I don't. <laughs> well, um, it looks like I'm... Uh, basically, I'm in a state where I see that I am just kind of... I'm what? I'm in a state? That I'm just kind of meandering. I'm not... Well, really deciding things. Well, you're the kind of person, that, what, what can you expect of yourself? Not much. <laughs> That's right. Right there, go <laughs> ahead. Then. Right. Yeah. Dad must have been incredibly appearing like sincere when he gave the teaching about himself. How did he do it? You got, got a scene when Dad is giving the gospel? Uh, well, I, yeah, I don't want to give all of it. It's kind what? Of yeah, I do have scenes. Uh, generally, we're sitting in the kitchen. and um, A particular. Yeah. Well, how scene. old were you? Oh, gosh. Many years. Uh, 10, 11. 10, 11, good age for that. Go ahead. And how did, Maybe what 12. was he, how did he appear? Like he was being part of the family. He's he, not part of the family. He and I were sitting in the kitchen and the TV was on and I think my brother was either in the, his bedroom or in the living room. My sister was somewhere and my mother was, where was my mother? Uh, my mother wasn't there. I think Somehow my mother's somewhere, but she's not there particularly, and I'm sitting with him, and we're talking, and he's talking about uh, this particular time. Uh, all I remember was that he was talking about him, uh, himself. I don't remember all of it. Like, he was... He was explaining to you something about, about himself, himself, right? Yes. <clears throat> and he's sharing. Like we're like his comment is like you got to know that we're. That's when he came up with the lawyer. This is the time when he compares and says, "Okay, well, you're the. This is who we are. We're we're yeah, peons. Good. This is who we are. We're peons." Those people, like he was talking about his lawyer friend, but not really talking about his lawyer friend. He was just saying that those are, that, that's when the ticky tacky comes in. They're ticky tacky, and we're peons, and we're better. How did he appear? Oh, we're close. How does he appear? Close. Like he knows what he's talking knows about. Knows what he's talking about. That's my dad. Yeah. And being close with mm -hmm. him like that. And, and he's being close, and he's allowing that kind of Yeah, we're close, we're, we're talking, rare. we're in the kitchen. Hey, rare. In the kitchen. Yeah. And that's Mom was out of the picture. Yeah, it was like private time with Dad, yeah. which is very, very rare. Yeah. yeah. Like, that meant good. He's recognizing I'm part of this family. He's part of it. Like, he's always working. He's not, hardly ever there. But we're at, he's uh, talking to me. He's allowing me to talk to him. Actually, he was allowing. He was generally, you know, he's always upset at something. But here we're talking. And he I sure was, looked believable. Yeah, he did. Actually. Yeah. He was sharing a truth with you. Uh, That's them. Yes. We're, we're. Hoi polloi. That's true. That's how he looked. 
Yes, and and it was glad that I could be with somebody, like yeah. I could be part of something. He was giving me an idea of what I could be part of. Yeah, mm -hmm. that the we. That was important. Yeah, you're now a member of the we. The we, yes. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> well, the, hey, that's a passage right. See. <laughs> He's initiating you. Yeah. It's a passage, right? Yeah, to be appealing. And he looks great and oh, confident, right. and he knows what he's talking about when he's bullshitting. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't reversed, but no. That right? Was, that was my background. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that great? Mm. You're sharing something that's what? False. No. Yeah, it'd be nice if he reversed it. What do you think would have happened if you told them the truth at that moment? That, Dad, you were an officer and therefore you played yeah, that hey, game? You're, Dad, you've been an officer in the Air now Force, you were a captain bad. in the Air Force, yeah. and you're trying to make believe you're the hoi polloi? Yeah, that's true. Dad, you're full of? Crap. <laughs> really? Now that would have been fast if I could have seen it. <laughs> but see, I was asleep. See, so. we, we have to know the truth in order to accept the false. Mm -hmm. You have to agree that what yes. you know about the guy contradicts the bullshit to believe it. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's like Julie, you have it under your yeah. breath. Yeah, at that moment, if you were to laugh and say, hey, Dad, <laughs> well, you, you, were, an you were a captain, captain in the Air Force, and you're trying to make believe you're a fucking private? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that have been something? Yeah. Huh? What's higher, major or captain? Does anybody know? Major. Well, he's a major. Yeah, because anybody could be a yeah, captain in the Air Force as a training fighter pilots. Anybody can. Right? right? No. Take any guy on the street. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? No, you can't do that. So what if you were to share with him the reality? No, I was too asleep. We have to give up what we see to take in bullshit as true. But his presence looks so real, and he's inviting you to become part of this group. Well, it's that's a great you. group. They're yeah, all inadequate. <laughs> True, which he was not. But he is a. Yeah. He knows the truth. That's true. Mm. That's interesting. What do you think of it? Uh, I think it's good. I'm seeing it. Good dream. Yeah. yeah. Boy, yeah. short, sweet, wow. and simple. <coughs> I guess it was fast enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have many words. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Thank you. Cool. We work. We're going to have a talk. You and I? Why aren't okay. we? Well, we are having a talk tomorrow with. Oh, Lawrence. tomorrow it is. is it oh, okay. 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 I thought it was amenities. today. Great. Fine. It's great. Here, I'm going to talk to you about it. With the blackboard. I will. Uh, yeah, well, whoever. I would like uh, to know why, uh, why either I'm way, still doing this Either way, 9 o'clock here. Tomorrow, oh, it's tomorrow, it's him. Yeah, we'll yes, 10? 9, after the Parmenides. Oh, yeah, doing Parmenides. tomorrow's Parmenides. Yeah. Here? Yeah. The 8th, we're in the 8th. We're in the 8th. We're in the 8th hypothesis. Good, good. All right. Yes, 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 you yes. To, you have to see the truth in order to give up. Uh, I don't, I forgot. To no, you have to see the truth in order to accept the belief. Yeah, false. I like that. Accept false. the bullshit. Yeah, yeah like accept the bullshit. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that yeah. Great line. Have to sacrifice see, the truth. See, what bugs me, though, about the dream that I had is that I cool. believed after the fact that the dream saved me, that it prepared me to have the encounters mm -hmm. that I had in real life, that I was much more open and vigilant and... So to right. that degree, it was good. Yes, but what came out in the analysis today, I had not considered that I shouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. But I believe that I'm in exactly the position I should be. I mean, I believe in my that my waking world that I, I am 
helping Rust a great deal, you know, by being his partner and supporting him in this and reminding him, you know, of what he has said and what he believes and what he wants. There's only one thing you guys are leaving out. What? Just one thing. What was it? Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's not our deal. More, more, no. come on, but not ideal. No, not our, not our deal, not our... Thank you. That's... Because of the nature of what? It's not your deal because? Because he's a grown man and he's nah. making his own choices Bullsh and... Uh, in the dream. Oh, in the dream. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about real life. Okay. Um, Same thing. Mm -hmm. What kind of people are they? Dangerous. How dangerous? M mortally dangerous. Killers. Killers. And therefore? Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I can't. Not get that the you fuck can't do some there. good things, but they're still what? <laughs> well, and the Kill thing is, it, it has it has st stopped me. We were just about to make a tremendous mistake and going to go there and pick him up, and it turned out that in the exchanges that kind of got confusing. Evan evidently, he, he had gathered these people around him. And that had we gone there to help him, we would have been forced into a situation where these guys, these big burly guys, you That's know, right. over, over yeah. over Therefore, and overtaken us and stolen the van. So, and, and Russ and I talked about that and I said, and Jesus will. Christ, we were just, we, we just saved ourselves from Death. this kind of encounter. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. that's, that's how close it got. And therefore, and we were on the phone simultaneously with, <clears throat> the, with the helping agency, and Evan was on the phone with his dad at exactly the same time. And I thought in that moment that we could go and get Evan and take him to the place. Good luck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, turned, it, turned out, it turned out not to be available. Hey, that's right. So we immediately changed our minds, and when we changed our minds, then Evan had this whole new litany of charges that he could now lay on Rusted. Oh, great, you're doing it again. You're letting your son down. You're not coming to take him to dinner. You know, you're just a fuck-up dad, and, you know, you're, just, you're uh, abandoning me just like always, you know. And so Russ felt so guilty about that. We both felt so bad about that that we did send him 50 bucks. And that money was gone just like that. It was gone. He never did anything good with it. He didn't even get food with it. He didn't get transportation to the place where he could have gotten help. Nothing. And that's when we found out kind of accidentally that, that he had kind of told all these guys that when Russ, Russ and I came to take him out to dinner that they could all come too. And that, he, you know, we would, all, we would take all these homeless people out to dinner and... Holy <laughs> moly! I think the guy needs to bother Good dream. He needs to bother They're dangerous killers. Yes. And no matter how good you do, they're still untouched by your goodness. <sighs> I mean, I know I've been a good friend and support to Russ this time, you know, and... and Pardon me. I, it's very but You're important. not answering whether or not that's doing any good for the person. <laughs> it's doing good for the person that we've stopped helping him, yes. I think it's doing good that Russ is no longer giving him money, that it's stopped. Well, now you have to deal now with... Have now to you have wait. to live with it. Now we have to live with it. We have to wait. We either have to stay around and wait, or we have to leave and wait. You know, whatever. Right. Yeah. Right. You just listen right. to the barrage. Thank you, guys. Well, right. Listen thank to you. the barrage. Thank you. Give nice statements and say thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Pierre. Fun, fun. Tomorrow. Right here. Oh, okay. Good. Good. In the kitchen. Is there anybody here? Good. Good. Uh, I'll send out. I think we're all, we're all here. Uh, it's Parmenides small. I think that's what we were just yeah. talking about. Uh, I think everybody's here. I think everybody's here. Cool. Yeah. Jeff Stern is not here. Jeff Stern. Yeah, but I think he's in the East Coast. He's, he's gone for three weeks. With his mom. Oh, it's gone. Oh. With his mom. Which, which hypothesis? You were in the Which hypothesis? Uh, for tomorrow. 
four and eight. We're working on eight. We were doing four and eight. Two to six last time. No, three to seven, three to eight. What? Four and eight. Four and eight. No, we were. Okay, do four and eight. No, we were working on three and eight. Three and eight. That doesn't work. Well, that's what we were looking at. What was the essential difference? Let me change the subject. Okay. Hi, what do you want to do tomorrow? Uh -huh. You decide. Okay. That's a different uh, question. You know, I I am not working on anything specific. I'm just okay. back and forth. I was working on eight and the issue... Now, don't tell me what you're working on. What would you want to do tomorrow? Eight. 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 Two. <laughs> eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Can I do an eight. eight and nine. Nine. Two. <laughs> Uh, if I had a vote, it would be two. Two. Okay. two. You do have yeah. a vote. Yeah, I do have a vote. <laughs> and I changed my vote. Uh oh. Yeah, I would we do have two, four two. on two. two, two. Yeah, and two. the reason I changed my vote, Pierre, is because when you were asking about the, we were kind of in a segue between dreams and what the dream master was capable of doing. I all of a sudden saw that there's something akin to the. Second hypothesis in the dream master. Yeah. Wow. So I'm, I'm, you know, and I just, oh, it, just seemed, it just seemed to rise up out of nowhere. Well, but, um, if there's any ever a spot. Second. Yeah. Second. Two. 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 Would you talk about that tomorrow morning? Uh, I think we are. I, I, it, With the dream master. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe if somebody gives. Then if we do it. $100. The second tomorrow. Yes. 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 Okay, yeah. All right. And look at. Is there a second in them? terms of the pathologos? <laughs> That's what I thought was two well, and six. Well, that's a hell of a lot of yeah. reading. That's six. Yeah. That's a hell of a lot of reading. But anyways, down the road. But logos, pathologos. Yeah. Two to six. Mm. Mm. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think if you guys wouldn't mind, if you have a chair, you don't have to take all, but just put it over in the patio so I can snack them and stuff. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Thanks you. Wow. Oh. How do you do this? Oh, man. Yeah, man. I love it. Yeah. It's coffee. Oh, hey, I see. Man. I see what it will be. You know, one second. Gina, you were getting the gospel according to Yeah. Good point. Gospel against the gospel. Okay, true. I was thinking how amazing it is that it matters how fast one sees. In my family? In any situation, you know, it's like that that's even a criteria, like, <laughs> that it has, to, it has to come at a certain speed. In what way? Okay. Well, both of them, uh... Oh, my father comes from a Catholic oh, background. <laughs> Don't, you don't do anything. Oh, for him. <laughs> right? In his case, yeah, you don't do anything. Yeah, because and, and you yours too. A, you pick, oh. how does, oh. Oh, I see. Right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And it's analogous too, like it's like what's this like it's it's not okay. It's similar in the sense like uh, just as the group that you um, in Josh's case how's it similar? Well they're a little different. Yours. No, but you already know it. Yeah, but I already know it. That's what's interesting. It's 
not that I don't know, yeah. but I do know what to say. It's that in July. But because of the mailman, uh, 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 relationships with my dad, they like overpowered all that. Same problem, I think. He, he's a captain. Saying he's he's not. He, he's, he's just a low guy. He's not adequate, even though in reality. He's totally adequate. He's yeah. among all the tiki tacky people he complains about. Yeah. yeah. So, and very adequate. But I think major is a major. Above yeah. Captain. I think so. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think is interesting. I don't know what's next above major. I don't know what the litigious, but yeah, he was and he was he was major, not just a major. Therefore, he had a problem because if he has that title and then he has this belief. Yeah, good point. That's Very true. Good. There it is. True. It would be continuous. Yeah. He could hold have on to, to put it on and then boom. And could hold on to it. Yeah, Or there's a, a there's a again. Yeah, constant. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he could know. never just it's probably to be no, what he was. No. Right? Without a conflict. That's true. That's interesting you say that. Oh, really? Because I can't ever say that I'm a... Uh, You're a doctor. Well, I'm a doctor. I can't say that. That I'm, that I'm a big wife. But you can. You are. I am. But... <laughs> Not no, really. Awesome. Yes, you are. Yeah, that's true. And then I, and then, then after that is really good. Yeah. It's like you're you're in, in one way like you went like I don't know what a, is a major equivalent to a PhD. I don't know, but close, yeah. Because like PhD is like top elite. And in my opinion. That's interesting. There isn't anybody who really recognizes. There isn't anybody really who doesn't recognize. Him. Right. And doesn't recognize. And my brother doesn't recognize himself. And he has a family. He has in, in biochemistry. And he was at Cal. When I say that he was at California Institute of Technology, that's where he ended up. The best. Yeah. That's like MIT on the Yeah. Coast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. But nobody says anything. That's why we're totally. There's nobody that we sees have it. Somewhere Very, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. That's yeah. helpful. This boy is on the out. He can't perform. He made a play that thing. That's taken care of, huh? Well, hmm. Where are my shoes? So I actually have something better to do right now. So, so does David, though. Hmm, this is a difficult thing. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Hey, Yons. Sorry, I was. That's okay. I know you were. I had my hands full of dropping stuff and. Um, okay. Okay. 